Patriots signed Stephon Gilmore from the Bills. He'll be 27 in September. $14 million a year. So what does this mean? It means that Logan Ryan's gone, and that's no surprise. But if it also means that there is going to be one very unhappy Malcolm Butler. Oh, you, how pissed are you? You just got that first-round tender, what, for $3.9 million. He's only, he only has to be upset for a year before he goes somewhere yeah, else. Yeah, but I mean... It's yeah. almost like, look what I've done for you. Yeah, guys. He, he won you a Super Bowl. He was your first, he was your lockdown cornerback when you really didn't have any other cornerbacks you could rely on. But that's the business. That is the I know NFL. That. Yeah, that's, uh, I, I, I what suppose. do you think he's going to try less? Uh, well, no, because he's got a big paycheck no. ahead of him, and, he, and he's stuck. He's got to suck it. He's got to stay here and play for three point nine million dollars, unless of course a team swoops in and offers a first round pick to try to steal him. But that's. According to Jeff Howell, that hasn't happened in like 15 years. There are two other things to consider here. What does this mean for Dante Hightower, who's going to make 10, 11, 12 million dollars a season one way or another? Will the Patriots put that on top of this? Or does it preclude them from, you know, spending the rest of their cap money on him? And the other thing is, as we just learned within the last five minutes, Patriots didn't contact Gilmore until this morning. And they made the deal real fast. What prompted them to do that? Right. Mike, Mike Giardi of, of CSN brought this up as well. What prompted the Patriots to make this move now? Did they talk to Butler? And Butler said, there's no way I'm signing with you after you treated me like this. Or is it uh, a bigger plan? I mean, it, no, because they're losing Butler, they're losing right. Ryan, so Gilmore's your number one Because quarter. when they brought in Revis and they brought in Browner, those were deals that they could get out of right away. This is a, 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 re a relatively long-term deal, so yeah, something must have happened where they know that Butler's not staying. Where somebody offered a first-round pick and a ton of money? Maybe, but either way, that would knew, be pretty... Either way, but they knew Butler wasn't coming back, right. so they needed... This is the... Okay, now we got to go get this guy because we're going to be stuck if we don't. How about they had cap money to spend and Logan Ryan was going to be gone? Doesn't it make sense anyway? I mean, they still it have... Just seems, 50, even with this, it they have 50 million. Like no, without without this, it's 50. Without, without I thought the it was, Gil no, it was 60. It's, it's no. 50. Well, consider they just signed Devlin. You, you have for a Dwayne, well, we have Dwayne Allen's bucks. contract now on top of this. I mean, you have other other things. They have, to, man, they have to manage. So. I mean, they have to think ahead on the whole Garoppolo situation. It's 50 without the Gilmore sign. Right. So and there and it's very interesting because this doesn't seem like a, a move that they would make. I mean, they committed time to this. This isn't, you know, hey, we're going for for one season. We're going to bring in a couple yeah. guys and get out from under it. I mean, but to think about it, if they do end up if for this year, obviously, if Malcolm Butler ends up staying and everything works out, I mean, name a better secondary in the league, right? I, right. It's, it, that's going right. to be locked down. Which, it depends on who the other safety is. As Harmon's leaving, but yeah. I mean, you, you have, have, a, you have uh, McCourty, Gilmore, yeah. and Butler. That's not bad at all.